The United States government wants to get me a subpoena. Here's what we do with subpoenas to straighten up my. Fuck you, USA! Fuck you! 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 Yo, it's a sad day, cuz on the 26th, we must stop making no rep shirts. No rep, no longer allowed to use this. And I bet you all have a pretty good idea why. The title sponsor of the CrossFit Games, Noble, reached out to us. They gave us a cease and desist letter. You guys are no longer allowed to use that. And it was um, kind of giving us a warning. Hey, on the 26th, we want you to confirm that you have stopped selling no rep products using this logo. And it's because this logo looks a lot like their logo. Per the verbiage in the letter that we had gotten, it's something along the lines of people can confuse this with something that would be used for their product, their marketing. They put a whole lot of money and they have an image that they're trying to purvey. And I don't know why they wouldn't want to purvey this image because all this image stands for is good movement, good repetitions, everything that you think that they would want in the CrossFit world. But to each their own, they want absolutely nothing to do with what Travis and I are doing with the no rep shirt, the no rep look, which is exactly apparently what they think to be like their look. Now, this is interesting. There are two routes to go about this. Route number one is the route that we're going to choose, which is we're done. On the 26th, we're done. With that, we have a whole lot of no rep shirts that if you want to go buy, this is going to be like a limited edition, last chance effort to get your hands on a no rep shirt. So I'm going to put in the description the link to Travis's website. Well, when they're gone, they're gone. So the sooner you buy one, if you want to wear one at the CrossFit Games and say, hey, this is the once of a freaking lifetime chance to have a no rep shirt, this is the time to do it. And we can't make any more. So we won't be making any more. But if you want one, go get one right now. That said, there was another case very similar to this. It was CrossFit City Park Place. If you've never heard of CrossFit City Park Place, it's because they're no longer an affiliate. They've dismantled. But in 2014, the owner used an image that looked rather similar to the Air Jordan logo. Now, Nike came after him because very similar. They're like, we have an image here. We do all of this marketing. We want nothing to or have nothing to do with your affiliate. We don't want to have to stand up for you to anybody and have you possibly tarnish our image. And the owner came back and said, you know what? I'm not leaving. I'm not leaving. I'm not fucking leaving. The show goes on. They're going to need a fucking wrecking ball to take me out of here. Fuck you. This is me doing a handstand on a kettlebell. So that's route number two. We could say we have nothing to do with you guys. This is ours, and but you know, that's not entirely the case. It's not like this is me creating my own image. This is like, hey, no rep with a little bat under it. So what we're going to do as a result of this is we're going to create a band shirt. So just like you remember in 2016, I believe it was, where Nike had the band Metcon edition, we have the band no rep shirts. That is something that's going to be on the website probably ASAP. If you want, you can get the final call, the no rep shirts, and then you can also get the band edition of the no rep shirt. Of course, it can't say no rep, but it's all just kind of rather interesting stuff. We saw it happening. So it was a good run, and there's one final one if you want to get your hands on these. So outside of that cease and desist letter that Travis and I got, there's one other thing that I want to bring up on the internet that I saw today, yesterday, and it's in relation to one of the people who popped this year and for performance enhancing supplements, and that's Toby Johnson. Toby Johnson is part of a community of people of which we recall that we had heard that after his B sample came back, so he tested positive on his A sample. Between the A and the B sample, there was a lag time where he said he wanted his B sample tested. He said that he probably had taken a contaminated supplement, blah, 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 blah. We know that after his B sample had come back, also indicating for a positive test for GW501516, he came out and said, you know what, guys, this is actually something that I had taken knowingly. Remember, I speculated that there were a handful of other things that I think that he would have taken in conjunction with the GW501516 because he had a knee injury. And in between that lag time, between the point where the A sample was tested and the B sample was tested, he was spinning this web of lies. And the web of lies wrapped up everybody in his community 
And from what I understand, they were going to go ahead and do all of the testing on all of the things that he was going to do. And I think that that may have put a lot of pressure on him to say, we don't want to waste all this money. It weighed on his conscience that they were going to waste all of this money on the testing, the community of people that was, because it's going to cost like tens of thousands of dollars to see if there was a contaminated supplement. And how could you live with yourself knowing that you were taking something and then everyone's going to try to prove your innocence while also knowing that you had taken that substance. Now, this rubbed a couple of people of the wrong way especially a couple of the members of the community who are blocked on their Instagram. So one of the members in particular put up a story the other day of a couple of the videos that I had posted where he's hitting a couple of PRs and there's probably a whole lot of stuff going on in there, but PRs were posted, comments were made in there about how it wasn't your PT physical therapy that got you there. It was probably the banned substances and blah, 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 blah. It's also reposted on there that there was somebody coming after the individual who was coming after Toby Johnson. So it's Toby Johnson who, who cheated cheated and knowingly cheated and then lied to the community and then there was the upset member of the team and the community who was posting some stuff after having been blocked and then there was somebody who came after the person who was coming after Toby. This person makes comments like you suck at gymnastics it's your fault that you didn't make it to the CrossFit Games you lied about your diabetes you're a piece of shit and then this female on the team her name is M. Boyich who recently did some sort of diabetes test and legitimately has diabetes is being attacked by a profile. And the whole reason that I bring this up is after having gone through the entire Reddit thing where people are hiding behind fake names and they're making comments on a thread of a whole bunch of people that don't fucking matter. It doesn't matter! Big thing that I want to take away from this entire post is that the individual who is attacking the teammate of Toby Johnson is a fake fucking profile. Who is this fake fucking profile? Is it Toby Johnson's like freaking brother? Is it Toby Johnson? Who is the person in the fake profile? How do we know it's a fake fake fucking profile? Because go ahead and Google Mexican guy. And when you Google Mexican guy, scroll down a little bit and you're going to find a picture of the avatar listed right there. So somebody took the time to create a profile on Instagram to go ahead and troll the teammate of the teammate who cheated. Like, what is wrong with people? How much free time do you have? Andrew, you're the guy sitting behind the computer making videos covering this. And it's like, well, because it's interesting and because I am an entertainer, I want to entertain. My purpose is to entertain and provide random information. So here's some random information. It's just, if you hadn't caught this or you don't follow this sort of stuff, number one thing I wanted to bring up was the fact that no rep, no longer going to be a thing. I'm not fucking leaving. Yeah, we're leaving. We're not, we're, we're, remember Jordan Bo Belfort ended up in jail. He ended up under house arrest or something. He got in trouble because he didn't leave. Well, we're going to make the smart decision. We're going to go make something else. That something else is going to start with the band. No rep thing. So if you want to pick that up, that's cool. If you, once again, want to get the last run of no rep shirts, which is just going to be us selling off stock of what we already have, go ahead and do that. You'll never be able to get one again. And then thing number two is, what the fuck is wrong with people? I made the thing yesterday on the Matt Fraser, talking about how he selectively chooses athletes, and Mal O'Brien is one of the athletes that he selectively chooses. It's like, of course, but there's a whole bunch of people who want justice and they, blah, 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 they want to do something about it. And they just waste their time in the comment section fighting for something that they have absolutely no tie into. And then there's this situation where somebody has created a fake Instagram profile, tried to curate a whole bunch of followers just so that they can look like they can attack somebody on the internet. Like, what is wrong with you people? It's the internet. Settle down. And like, clearly, Toby Johnson's the one who did things wrong. Why do you have to attack this M. Boyich girl for her diabetes? And then say, your team didn't make the game because you have diabetes and you're lying about about, that you're just a fucking piece of shit who can't do bar muscle ups. Like, what is wrong with you people? Who is this guy? So just a little quick video today, whole bunch of stuff going on, and Hiller out.